big and getting bigger. Dubai's positioned itself as the city at the center of the world. Two billion people within a four-hour flight time. The estimated 46 million people who passed through here in 2010 made it the world's sixth busiest airport for passenger traffic. They have an open skies policy here and a government that is actually supportive of aviation. They see it as a key generator of employment and economic and social opportunity. The region accounted for just 4% of international passenger traffic 10 years ago. Today, it's 11%. And its share is rising in part from Dubai's aggressive growth, a current capacity of 60 million passengers per year, projected to rise fourfold by 2025. That surge will come with the opening of Al Maktoum International, a second airport designed to be the world's largest. It started cargo operations in June with a $13 billion investment. That airport is a linchpin in the effort to boost the city's industrial base, giving the Emirates' economy new life. You can now bring in goods either by land, by sea, or by air, add value to them, and re-export them either by land, by sea, or by air. But is it too much? A new report by aviation technology firm Amadeus sees a risk of overcapacity and a lack of transparency holding back private investment. These are growing pains, but these are pains that have already been identified and they're already working on them. It's, a, it's not an easy task. And it's, not, it's not a matter of something that is really uh, confined to this region. It's a, it's a global pain, really. But the upside is massive, this region becoming the dominant global travel hub by 2025. A sign of global ambition in an economy that's already getting back off the ground. Lara Satrakian, Bloomberg, Dubai. All right, so I'm pleased to say that I'm joined now by the CEO of Dubai Airports, Paul Griffiths, is with me in studio here in Dubai. Paul, thanks very much for coming in. Great pleasure. So what are you seeing at the moment in terms of passenger numbers? Well, this year it exceeded expectations. I think we're going to end the year something like 48 million, which is uh, about a 17% uplift on 2009. And actually, for next year, um, it's, things are looking even better. We've just revised our growth forecast for 2011 mm. uh, from 51 to 52.2 million passengers. Um, it's quite an amazing story, really, because most of the world in air traffic terms is going the other way, and we're we're starting starting to see double-digit uh, growth being sustained year on year. In fact, kind of interesting statistics, since the, air the airport was formed in 1960, our average growth rate's been 15.5% every year. So, so this is some remarkable growth that you're experiencing. Absolutely Pretty right. steep rises in passenger num numbers as well. Mm. And I understand that by the end of the decade, you were quoting uh, numbers at the end of next year, by the end of the decade, numbers will approach 90 million. I mean, that really puts the pressure on you to get going with expansion plans to make room for all the new aeroplanes and the passengers that will go with them? It certainly is. I mean, it, the, the thing is that we're seeing now is that, that there's a huge challenge here and our biggest problem, and it's one of the best problems to have in aviation, is how are we going to accommodate the growth? Because the, the aircraft are coming, the orders have been placed, our two home airlines, Emirates and Fly Dubai, mm -hmm. have got some very ambitious expansion plans, and we've got to make sure that we develop the infrastructure in a timely mm -hmm. and effective way to meet the their growth plans. What do you make of criticism though that Dubai airports isn't expanding at a fast enough rate, the infrastructure is not keeping up with these airlines ambitious growth plans? Well I think the thing is that we're working very hard to make sure that doesn't become an actuality and in fact that that is a, a two-tiered program. The first tier is how do we get to a 90 million capacity mm. given the two runways and the fairly limited footprint that the airport at Dubai International has and then what do we do beyond 2000 2018 when we think we will have hit that 90 million cap and the answer to that of course is the new development mm. of the world's largest airport uh, at Jebel Ali Dubai World Central. But you yourself said recently that you're delaying the opening of the new uh, Maktoum terminal uh, to passengers by months and of course even when it is open people are saying well, it's going to take years again this according to Emirates President Tim Clark it's going to take what he says 10 to 15 years before enough carriers have moved there 
to make it Dubai's main airport. So, so still some sort of major infrastructure challenges facing you, right? I think the thing is, what you've got to look at uh, Dubai now is, is, is naturally now a two-airport city. And what we're trying to do is focus our efforts on where we're going to most cost-effectively and effectively in terms of capacity apply our efforts. And it's clear the expansion of the existing site is going to deliver the capacity required to keep the industry going over the next five to ten years much more quickly than if we invest everything in Dubai World Central now. Beyond 2018, it's very clear the only way to expand will be to invest in the new airport. But what Tim Clark says is exactly right. Until we've put at least 90 million passenger capacity into the ground at Dubai World Central, Emirates will be too big to be able to move there.